This is how to hit third shot drops. You will never miss one again by the end of this video. The first thing to keep in mind, this is not a tennis shot. We don't wanna hit an actual stroke. We wanna let the ball hit us. When we do this, it's gonna make our shot way softer and slower so we can follow it in. The whole point of a third shot drop. The best way to think of this is like you're throwing a bean bag. When you throw a bean bag, there's no acceleration. It's just a smooth motion. For our footwork, we always wanna step with the opposite foot. We never wanna step with the same side as our paddle. That's gonna get us into trouble. We wanna use all legs for this shot, meaning I should be hitting and generating power from my legs. I should never just use my arm. I wanna hit and rise with the ball. If you're having trouble missing short, meaning your ball is going into the net, after you hit your drop, take a step through with it. What this is gonna do is it's gonna carry your momentum forward and it's going to always make you miss long rather than short. Remember, the net is undefeated, always miss long. As the ball is being hit to you, you wanna let it bounce and you wanna hit it right when it starts to decline. So it bounced, it's reached its apex, and then as soon as it starts to drop, that's when you wanna hit the ball. That's gonna have the most minimal amount of spin and make the easiest shot for you. For our backhand drop, our footwork is completely different. Every time we hit a backhand drop, we should be completely sideways to the court. We should never hit a drop like this. It's very inconsistent. When we turn sideways, it makes for an accurate shot every single time. You wanna lock your elbow and create this pendulum motion. Super consistent. We don't wanna have our elbow like this and we chop it. We wanna have our elbow fully extended. When the ball comes in, we're simply moving it just like a pendulum. I like to get even lower than the forehand and really rise just like I'm doing a squat. This ensures that I'm always hitting the ball and never missing short. My last piece of advice, whenever you hit your drops, you wanna hit them diagonally to that person's backhand. The reason you do that is there's much more room to float the ball. If you hit the ball a drop straight ahead, all they have to do is lean in and your drop literally has to be perfect. As soon as you go diagonal, just from the geometry of the court, you have way more room to work with. Now you should never miss another drop. Make sure to subscribe to my channel.